Welcome back to the morning show on this Monday. It's a great day to learn about agriculture in central Illinois. And what better way to do so than with our Ag in the Classroom segment with me now, Julie Adcock from the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation's Ag in the Classroom program. You're an educator for them. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what you do here in Champaign County. Well, I travel to the schools surrounding Champaign-Urbana and uh, give them 30-minute lessons about agriculture. It's really fun. You're doing kindergarten all the way up through eighth, eighth grade, grade. Yep. and uh, teaching about things. This week, we've got an exciting lesson. Tell us what we're going to learn about. We're going to learn about food, specialty foods. Specialty foods. Yes. This means so, I can do a little eating too, right? Yes, you get to try oh, some boy. stuff. Let's, let's talk about them. So what do we got today? Um, well, we're going to talk about Frida Kaplan because she introduced to us specialty foods. She worked at a wholesale produce market and uh, initially started selling the apples and potatoes and tomatoes and then was approached to get mushrooms. And at really? that time, we didn't put mushrooms on pizza. No. Uh, and then so she started selling the mushrooms and then she really liked it. And she then was approached to sell this interesting little thing. And it was called a Chinese gooseberry. And she said, oh, okay, where is it from? And the gentleman said it's from New Zealand. So here's my fancy little map here. New Zealand's down here. But it was called a Chinese gooseberry. And she's like, well, that doesn't make any sense. So he said, it looks like our kiwi bird. And so she's like, well, there you go. We're renaming this the kiwi. The kiwi. And so, kiwis are great. They're delicious. Oh, my gosh. So good. But because she started selling them and putting them all in our grocery stores, we now all know about the kiwi. Would you like to try yeah, some? Yeah, we're going to try some here. Okay. You yeah. going to let me do some cutting? Sure. If I you know a like thing or two about, about cooking well, and, and cutting things. Can I tell right? you something? Sure. Um, you can actually eat the skin of kiwi. Can you really? Yes. I it's a little bitter, it. but I usually like to cut. Oh, go ahead. You want me to cut? Okay. Yeah, cut off the end there. And so of course, that if, if kids are doing this, we want the parents to do it for yeah, safety. Yeah, we want right? the parents to do it. So there's, so I'll cut a little slice there. You want you have a half slice too? Sure, I'll have a slice. Okay, too. so we'll, we'll do that. Um, you can see the inside. Look at that. I love that yeah. green color, don't you? Yes, and it's very juicy. Wow. And a lot of kids are very surprised because they don't want to eat seeds. And you really don't taste the seeds in kiwi. Mm -mm. It's good. I love the flavor combinations too, with like strawberries and kiwis. Mm, yeah. And things of like that. That's good. That's yeah. fun. That's and you don't really them. taste the skin, do you? No, not really at all. Okay, what else we got? So also, she brought us dragon fruit, and kids love dragon fruit. They think this is the coolest thing because of the shape of it. Yeah, and it's everything. really fascinating. And then, do, shall we try that too? Yeah, go ahead and tell us a little about dragon fruit. Okay, so dragon fruit is actually from a cactus. Oh, so really? kids are so surprised with that. And it's very watery and it doesn't have like a lot of flavor. You know, it's not like um, acidy like an orange or anything like that. Now, normally we don't eat the skin on that. So let's let's eat this like an orange. Okay. Mm, that's a very mild, mellow flavor. It, it's yeah. good. I like it. They use it a lot in drinks because it's so... Um, nutritious. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And then a few other things. We have cherimoya. This is actually from uh, South America. Okay. And this is not as easy to get a hold of. Okay. So what's, what am I expecting me, when uh, I cut here? You want to try that one? Yeah, let's try this one. Okay, oh, let's... and you know what? Where, where do you get these at? Can you get these in any grocery store? Um, most, like the kiwi and dragon fruit, you get them at most grocery stores. This one's the cherimoya, found it at a harvest market. Okay. Sometimes you have to go to the specialty stores. Now, this one's going to be very soft. Yeah. You can just pick it off I there. A, Don't a eat the off. seed. Don't yeah. eat the seed, but okay. Mm. That's good. Mark Twain wrote that this was the greatest fruit known to man. That's really good. Yeah. It That's is, delicious. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's great. Okay, do we have one more? Last one is our Asian pear, and it is from Asia. But uh, what's fun to show the kids about this one is it looks like a potato, um, and you can eat it like an apple. So it you cuts can, like a potato, too. Yeah, it sounds like it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, but it tastes like a pear. So when I tr tell the kids to try new things, I say, you don't have to go and get a cherimoya. You could try different kinds of oranges, different kinds of apples. Just be a little brave and That's try good. new things. That's really good. Okay, we had a book recommendation yes. real quick. We can flash that graphic really fast. We'll have a link to this. Tell us real quick the title of that book. It's called Try It. Okay. How Frida Kaplan Changed the Way We Eat. And that's exactly what we did today. Try something new. Grab something new at the grocery store you've never done before. If you want more on this lesson and more, head to WCI.com. We'll have details there for you.